In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your email marketing set up and get some automation going in your funnels. Hey there, my fellow fantastic entrepreneurs. Welcome back to this training series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your mailing boss autoresponder hooked up and get it hooked up with your funnels. So if you remember in the last training videos, we set up your domain, we set up your account and we built a fully functioning sales funnel with a membership area as well. So today we're going to be all about the mailing boss autoresponder. So with the mailing boss autoresponder inside build rule, you get access to unlimited contacts, um, unlimited sending quota, and it's pretty much unlimited across the board as long as you're on the 4990 plan. Now before we go any further, I'm going to make a slight edit to the funnel that we made yesterday, just so I can show you a good example of some automation that you can do inside Mailing Boss. So I'm going to come to the sales page layout, and I'm going to add an opt-in page in front of the sales page. So just a basic opt-in page, um, this one will be fine. So you've got the basic opt-in page here. So people are going to opt in first, and then they're going to they're going to get a free gift. Then it's going to take them to the sales page, and once they're on the sales page, they're going to be able to buy the membership. So we're enticing them with a free gift first to get their email address, so we can remarket to them and uh, try and sell more copies of our course. So I'm going to come back to Mailing Boss and create a new list called opt-in. And you'll see why I'm doing this in just a moment. I'd recommend double opt-in, uh, single opt-out. So um, you get a better list quality, but it's completely up to you. So here's our second list. And come into here. Uh, that's a form. Uh, that's a form. That's completely different. We need a email marketing form. So here we come into mailing boss and we can see the new opt-in. Okay, so now I'm going to change the URL so they'll be redirected to these pages. Pending subscribe is if you've got double opt-in, they'll be redirected to this page immediately after submitting the form. If you're on single opt-in, it will be redirected to the subscription confirmed. This is also the page they'll be redirected to after clicking the confirmation link in your subscribe confirm email, which gets sent out on a double opt-in. Um, the unsubscribe confirmation I always have it as the page that they opted in on. So if they unsubscribe, they know where they opted in on. It just reduces complaints and jogs their memory as to where they came in. So now that that's set up, we're going to come back to Mailing Boss. Come to our campaigns and add a sequence. So this sequence is going to be sent out when someone opts in for the free offer that we've got, that we've just added. I'm going to name it free opt-in. Choose the opt-in list. And you can segment to specific users who have clicked campaigns or open specific emails if you've uh, got some history of sending emails. So you can really tailor the content to people who've took specific actions. Um, so now we've got the email sequence here, we've got all the emails that are going to be sent out in the sequence on this side. Uh, so this welcome message will be, thank you for opting in and receiving your free gift, your free um, guide, whatever. And once we're happy with that, we click activate, and that's going to send out as soon as they opt in. So if we want to add a new email, so we want to add one a day later saying, hey, thanks for downloading our guide. Hope you're enjoying it. We noticed you didn't take the upsell to the membership area. Why didn't? What was the reason for that? Was there anything that we can help you with kind of thing? 
So we're going to change that to one day after and activate. But this is where the automation comes in. How do we know if they upgraded or not? We don't want this email being sent out to someone if they've already upgraded for the members area. So that's why I've added the two different lists. So if we come into list settings here, remember we set it up yesterday in the membership area. So anyone who signs up for the membership area um, gets added to the email marketing list. So if we come into the settings of the email marketing list, and come to subscriber actions now you can see here you've got actions when subscribe and actions when unsubscribe so we're going to use this one here so when a subscriber subscribes into this list if they exist in any of these lists unsubscribe them from these so i'm going to click opt-in and save changes so that means if anyone subscribes to the email marketing by purchasing the membership area they'll be automatically unsubscribed from this list so they won't receive any more emails about upgrading or anything. They'll just get the second email sequence, which we're going to set up to say welcome to the membership area and get them through the membership. Pretty cool, right? And pretty simple as well. This is just one of the simple examples of how you can use automation with Mailing Boss to send out specific messages to people who take specific actions. There's a load of other stuff you can do with the uh, tags and um, automation triggers. So play about with it. See what automation things you can come up with. There's a load of tutorials in the back office, so I'm not going to go over all of the automation. This is just a really good example and a simple example of how you can use it to trigger something that someone's purchased as opposed to a free product. So if we come into here now add a different email sequence there's the one that we did before with the free opt-in with the two campaigns and then we just simply create new uh, call this purchase because they've purchased and have that as the other list and then we can start writing our emails for this as well just remember to always click activate if you want your emails to go out so on this, for example, we would say, thank you for purchasing the course. Um, and then any other information that we want to give to our customers. And there's lots of other ways you can add people into lists from, say, the sales funnel and a few other few of the other tools. So if you create a different list for each um, action, you can move them in between the lists to uh, trigger the automation. So all of the emails that you've added here, it pulls the information from the account to, as to where to send it from and who to send it from. So you're going to have your email that you set up your account originally with in there and your name. So you haven't got to worry about any of that. It just pulls it straight from the, uh, the account. So if we come to campaigns again, we can see the individual campaigns inside of a sequence. So we've got the two from the opt-in and the one from the other list that we just set up. And if you want to edit them individually and see where they're coming from, um, the stats that they've got, you can come and pause and then come into update here. And it will show you the name, whether it's autoresponder or regular, and um, everything else about it. And save and next, and we can see who it's coming from, where it's coming from, and all the other information that we need about it. So there's a quick rundown of how you can use automation with Mailing Boss in your funnels and uh, start seeing some better results without putting in the time and effort of manually having to switch everything over. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.